We grind large tungsten carbide end mills and are thinking of getting a scrubber nozzle with our machine. What's your take on this? Well, here's the story of a scrubber nozzle. When you grind tungsten carbide, let's pretend this is a diamond wheel, and we grind our tungsten carbide, we flute grind them away, and we get lots and lots of tungsten carbide loading. In fact, that's a huge problem when you grind carbide is the wheel loads really quick. Now, there's a couple different ways to cope with this loading, and one of the ways is to try to use a scrubber nozzle. So I've seen these on a couple machines, and I'm kind of cynical about all new products until I see them proven in real production where I measure something and see, okay, is the guy really working? So I was at a company about two years ago, and they had one of these scrubber nozzles. And I said, is that working for you? And they said, oh, we think so. And I said, well, let's check it out and let's actually measure something, okay? So what we have here is the power measurement from the grindometer. And what we have is power in fluting. This was a one, two, three, five fluted end mill. They were taking a roughing pass. Then they were taking their finishing pass. And the second part after truing is in red. They were pulling a certain amount of power from the grindometer. Power equals heat generation. Then they kept going. Part number 15 we have in blue. Power's going up because we're getting loading. Part 61 in this case. Power's now almost doubled, maybe more than double, just due to loading. Now, a little while later, here's what we did. We took the maximum roughing power and the maximum finishing power, and we measured them. So they had their cleaning nozzle on, which I gave them blue. And we started off, let's say, for roughing at around one kilowatt went up to around 1.7 kilowatts because our wheel's loading up. Finishing started off at around 0.5, went up to pushing 0.9 because the wheel's loading in blue. And I said, all right, let's turn off the scrubber nozzle. So I went to the back, just unplugged the guy, so now we're getting no scrubbing effect. Went over, trued the wheel, repeated the test the exact same way, same speeds and feeds, same everything, and what we got was in red. So, is it having an effect? Well, the power's going up a little bit, the wheel is loading more quickly, or we're not clearing away the loading. But I was a little disappointed. If we get to part number eight, you know, we're pulling 1.6 kilowatts versus 1.4 something. Or you can say, when does power pass 1.6 kilowatts? It's at either part number eight or part number 10. Just was a little disappointed in the scrubber nozzle. And there's a reason for that. Number one, a lot of these scrubber nozzles are not designed well. Their opening is too big. They might have 50 bar or 750 PSI at the pump, but they're not getting that at the nozzle. Maybe they've got it too far away. Ideally, a scrubber nozzle would be hitting not like that, but like this to kind of shear it off. So the vast majority of scrubber nozzles that I see aren't doing much. And in this case, I was a little disappointed. Now, we were running at 40 bar. And I said, well, you know, a lot of people recommend you get up at least past 50. Some people say 100. So we went back and we tightened down the uh, relief valve up to 80 bar, repeated the test again, and we got the exact same results that we got with 40 bar. So I was a little disappointed in the scrubber nozzle. I wasn't surprised, though, because most of these scrubber nozzles are a little disappointing. So my view is... If you want to clean out loading, stick the wheel with an abrasive stick. Here we have a similar type of thing, and we stuck the wheel after six parts, and we could see the power drop because we were clearing out that loading material. So right now I'm more of a fan of sticking than I am of any type of scrubber nozzle.